Hi Libra, it's Carolyn and I, Carol, coming at you with a reading. This is What Are Their True Intentions in Love. Hope you guys are all well. And these readings, uh, this is going to be the last reading, last of these uh, True Intention Love readings for January. And going to be coming out with a new love reading pretty soon here. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are all having uh, a good new year. And um, please keep in mind, Libra, that this is all about your person and you. But these energies could be both yours or theirs, right? It could just depend. And these are general, so they may or may not resonate. If you guys do get a message, though, please give a thumbs up. And let's get into it right now. Your overall energy is a Ten of Wands, Libra. <coughs> wow. Your person is the Hangman. It could be a Piscean, maybe. The past dynamic is the Fool, the Three of Cups, in the reverse. And the Devil... Wow. Okay. So Libra, clearly you're carrying a burden here about something, right? And I feel like in the past there was some type of a painful ending, right? This is the, the Ten of Swords is, uh, is typically a, a painful ending in some way. It can be betrayal and backstabbing. That's shown up in your desire position. But um, I feel like there's way more to this reading than just that. So we're going to continue with that. From the Lenormand is the Tree of Life. The moon, the clovers, the book of secrets, the staircase, and the time, or the clock, rather. Okay. So I feel like, you know, what could be going on here? There could be some secret here, especially with the book of secrets directly over the ten of swords. Yeah, that's what we got here, guys. And uh, sometimes the book of secrets is just simply the unknown, but not over the ten of swords, right? And somebody is making some type of a choice. It could be regarding a secret. It could be between a secret and somebody else. With the staircase, it is all about a choice between two. The clock is showing up, so this could be uh, time could be relative here. For it could be there could somebody could have been waiting for a choice for a long time. It could be choosing between somebody, uh, maybe somebody from you know the now and somebody from the past. But the tree of life is here. This talks about typically laying down roots. Yeah, it does. It could talk about somebody's health sometimes. Um, but it typically talks about laying down roots here, and the moon is here, and in the Lenormand, it is about passion and romance. Yeah, it is. It's next to the clovers, though. So, and the clovers is typically good luck, but it's sitting next to the Book of Secrets. So I feel like there could be a surprise coming in. Maybe uh, you have learned, uh, surprisingly, about a secret, right? Which is how we learn about them, right? <laughs> That's why they are secrets, but... Uh, there is a choice being made here, and that is relative to the, uh, significant to the situation, but let's see why. Okay, so let's get into the reading, and for Libra, your energy is a Ten of Wands. And the Five of Cups is in the reverse. Six of Wands. Yeah, so there's a, some type of a past ending. The Five of Cups is in the reverse. You could be avoiding some type of a painful, kind of regretful situation. Wow, because it's in the reverse. And this could be sadness, right? Five of Cups in the reverse. It could be just sadness, maybe over regarding some past regret. It could be. But I feel like right now you are carrying some burden here about somebody maybe having victory or trying to overcome something. Why is that Six of Wands there? I feel like this is about somebody having victory. Yeah, with the Devil. And the Three of Cups is in this reading. Mm -hmm. Three of Wands. Ace of Swords. I feel like you're trying to overcome a truth here. Yeah, you are. Mm -hmm. That kind of uh, brought about some ending in the past that was super sad for you. Maybe not a final ending, but some type of an ending could have been a breakup, and maybe there's a choice to revisit, you know, to get back together with this person, because there is a choice here between two. Four of Wands is in your, the Four of Wands is showing up, and this is your, your crossing energy or your influence here. So this is about a union, that is true. Nine of Swords, yeah. You're carrying a burden here about some type of about trying to get over a truth here, or about somebody having victory, either one. Why is that Ace of Swords here? Please, for Libra. Seven of Cups, yeah. Somebody has uh, options here, mm -hmm. or somebody did, right? Why is that Nine of Swords here for Libra? Page of Wands in the reverse. 
So I feel like what this is saying here is that there's sadness here and there's worry here that maybe somebody's going to walk their own path here, but I feel like, or leave, right? But I feel like what this is, is that it could be that, it could be that you are worried here because mm -hmm, you're trying to get over a situation here, I feel like, okay? Or somebody's having, somebody has too many options here and that is a real burden for you, mm-hmm. And this is why the Book of Secrets is there, exactly, mm-hmm. And so... You're in this Nine of Swords energy, pretty sure this is you, Libra, which is worry and anxiety. Mm -hmm. And you could be resisting some type of a change here. And this change is, it could be maybe somebody making a choice. Why is the Ten of, want, ten of Swords? The Ten of Swords is in your desired position, Libra. So you want to release yourself from some type of a painful ending. Why is that Ten of Swords there? Or simply backstabbing, right? This doesn't always have to be an ending, although we know, yeah, it just doesn't. It can just be backstabbing here. Uh, the Five of Wands is in the reverse. This can be competition. Yeah, and the Six of Pentacles is here. I feel like this is in your desired position. I feel like you want to lay down a struggle. Yeah, or you want, maybe you could be wanting to possibly stop competing for somebody's love here. Maybe that's the case. You could be with somebody here that you could be in this super, it could be rom a romantic situation, maybe. Yeah, maybe. And you could be, uh, like, you could be dealing, you can have somebody that there's a lot of passion here, um, it's possible, and maybe they, you found out that they have secrets, like a passionate, long-term relationship with somebody. That could be the case. You could found, you could have found out they have secrets, but you could, um, somebody's making a choice here, and it does involve something that is unknown or a secret. And you could have got news here. Mm -hmm. You could have got, maybe you got news, surprising news. Yeah. As somebody's making a choice. Okay, let's see as we go here, okay, because this can go a few different ways. In your desire position, Libra, I feel like you want to release yourself from some type of a painful ending here. You can be wanting to give and take with your person here. I feel like you are trying to overcome some type of a painful situation here where somebody has... Uh, options here. Mm -hmm. That could definitely be the case because you are trying to resist change here. Maybe that is from them leaving, but why is that page of wands in the reverse for Libra? You're trying to resist change or this could have been, uh, I know you are worried here for sure about a union, strength card, but you could be trying, I feel like you're trying to get your strength here. You're trying to overcome a situation. Yeah, you're trying to dig up, you're trying to gather your strength the chariot card on how to have victory here could be there could be a cancerian here why does libra have the six of pentacles nine of wands Yeah, you could be maybe wanting to, like, it's possible you want to start over with somebody and you want to get over all the past, like you want to leave the past behind, right? That could be the case. And it could be about secrets. It's possible maybe you are making a choice here to kind of leave behind the secrets and the pain and the regret of some kind of surprising situation, so something could have surprised you, and it could have ended up like it could have, you know, it could have been betrayal that surprised you, and now you could be trying to make a decision here to maybe move on, like move on from it, it's possible, just try to overcome it, but over here you are in fear for sure, or you are simply worried, it doesn't have to be fear, but I mean fear is worry, worry is fear, yeah it is, it's like an ongoing kind of fear, mm-hmm, In your, how you are seeing your person as the high priestess, why, why does Libra see them as the high priestess? Eight of cups in the reverse, wow.
Four of Pentacles. It's possible you are seeing them as going back to, yeah, you could be seeing them as going back to a secret. That could be the case with this Book of Secrets and the staircase next to it. Which is, which is a choice, of course, right? Yeah, which is a choice. I feel like you are seeing them. You could, you could be trying to hold on to them. It's true. I mean, it could be either way. You are seeing them as either you're trying to hold on to them or they're holding on to somebody. And you may be seeing them as going back to somebody, somebody from the past. Yeah, with the clock. Mm -hmm. Next to the staircase, next to the choice. You could be seeing them maybe as making a choice here, possibly, or deciding to hold on to somebody from the past. And you could be wanting to hold on to them, because I said in the beginning, I felt like you were trying to overcome a situation here. Yeah. That is full of worry here. Okay, let's continue, because this reading is a little, it's a little involved. And um, we're going to find out, though, especially in the tell-all, which is the extended, because we find out exactly where your person is coming from, okay? Let's get a card on the Four of Pentacles. Why does Libra see their person that way? King of Wands. Could be dealing with an Aries Leo or Sag, right? For sure. And you could be seeing them as a player, kind of holding on to somebody here and possibly going back to a secret It's possible here. Maybe who was somebody from the past. There is a secret in this reading, the Book of Secrets, for sure. And there is a choice being made. And time is relative, or relevant, rather, relevant. Yeah, relevant. <laughs> okay, guys. Their energy is the hangman. Maybe they are Pisces. Because the high priestess is how you are seeing them, and that is Pisces or Scorpio. Why is that hangman there for a Libra's person? Three of Swords. So your person, if they are not a Pisces, they're really stuck about change. Yeah, because of a third party or heartbreak. Yeah, wow. And they could be trying to enlighten themselves in the situation, right? Trying to find out more. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like your person is looking for something. They could be looking for clarity. It's possible. I feel like they're just feeling a burden here. Uh-huh. About some secret. I don't really feel like there are so much digging here. I feel like your person feels stuck about heartbreak. Why is that Three of Swords there for Libra's person? Let's talk about heartbreak and I'm going to take it like this because I feel like it was. Uh, yeah, another relationship here. And change. Ace of Wands. Yeah. And they could be stuck about whether or not they want to have one with you. Right? It's possible. Because somebody could also be making a choice here because they are, you know, maybe they could be making a choice because a secret was discovered and now they're like, well, do I really want to stay in this? That could be the case too. Your person's trying to resist, uh, like some, resist change over here. Mm -hmm. And it is all about worry. Yeah, it's all about worry. They're worried here, definitely. And they're carrying a burden. Yes, and they're in the Nine of Swords energy where they have already been hurt from a situation like heartbreak. Mm -hmm. Because of the Ten of Swords. They're in the Nine of Wands. Hope I didn't say Nine of Swords. They are both. Yeah, your person's really having a hard time here, okay? <laughs> uh, that is you, actually, Libra. Sorry about that. Yeah, kind of got sidetracked. That is you. Wow. This is you carrying the burden. You and the Nine of Swords. You, I feel like, wanting to release yourself from this Ten of Swords, and in this Nine of Wands, the wounded person who's, like, paranoid about the next, the next episode here. Mm -hmm. And you could be seeing your person as trying to go back maybe, maybe to a Pisces. They could be a Pisces, though. 
but they are definitely somebody is like you're seeing them as holding on to maybe a fire sign okay now your person here is kind of stuck here about change it's a possibility here mm -hmm. and or they are a Pisces and it is about heartbreak betrayal possibly or a third party and it is about a new beginning ace of wands and somebody's making a choice ace of pentacles in the reverse why is that there and this is your person's uh, crossing energy here. So Libra, this is you. And you could have, it's possible, Libra, that you are the one who maybe had a third party. And you could be feeling like it's a burden now, maybe to make a choice or a burden that somebody found out about a secret. That could be what's going on, too. Your person here in their challenge is you, the Justice card. Mm-hmm. Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles in the reverse, both in the reverse. This is about like a breakup, and it is about somebody maybe wanting to have a new start here, uh, but they kind of, you know, they feel, they could feel like they're on shaky ground, maybe. Because they're stuck about change over here, your person, I feel like they are. Yeah. And I feel like they want a new beginning here, but there's like betrayal attached to it, something like that. Now, Knight of Swords, uh, Libros, how they, what they desire. Why do they desire the Knight of Swords? Queen of Swords. And the Ace of Cups. And this is what they desire. And this could be you, Libra. They could be wanting to cut you out. I feel like they want to cut out some kind of a new beginning that you have. It's a possibility here. Knight of Wands. Queen of Swords, yeah, they want to, I feel like they, they could be just discerning a situation here, mm-hmm, but I feel like what they want is they either want to cut out a union with you, or they want to cut out some other kind of a union here, because somebody is seeing somebody holding on to somebody as well, for sure, now, in their, how they are seeing you, they're seeing you as the Six of Cups in the reverse, so that, that can talk about, you know, maybe not wanting to go back to the past, yeah, wow, because the choice card is between the Book of Secrets and the clock. So this can talk about making a choice between, you know, the choice that is being made is there is a secret attached, right? Or there is a secret that is like part of this choice, good or bad. And the clock is there. This could talk about somebody from the past. And somebody I feel like is turning back over here. You are seeing your person as possibly... Turning back to hold on to a fire sign. Yeah. They could be a water sign. It's possible they are a fire sign trying to hold on to a water sign. It could depend here. But I don't feel like either one of those is you. This high priestess or the king of wands. No. That is no. Okay. So, let's get a card on the six of cups in the reverse. This is how Libra's person sees them. The Emperor Judgment. I feel like they are seeing you as making a decision to go back to somebody from your past. It's possible you are seeing them as also trying to figure out whether or not you are holding on to somebody and going back to somebody from your past. Yeah. It could be maybe be using their intuition here. Mm-hmm. Because the Book of Secrets, yes, it is exactly that, but it can also talk about, like, the unknown, like, trying to, like, uncover, right, a secret, kind of. Or being in, you know, being, like, living in mystery, kind of. Okay. Queen of Pentacles is showing up over here, and Libra, this is an earth sign, right? Yeah, this is an earth sign. And well, there's a lot of people here, but this they could be seeing you as this nurturing person. It's possible here. I mean, my in my readings, these Queen of Pentacles and the court cards are people. I hear a lot of readers read the energy. Um, for me, the energy is more in the minor arcana, but it can still be. It, it can still be here. There could be somebody. It doesn't have to be an Earth sign. Is what I mean. It could be somebody who's nurturing and you know, kind of brings on the bacon, keeps the place, keeps the house really clean. Mm -hmm. Somebody who's abundant. 
But I feel like your person, because there's a lot of people here now. King of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. It's possible there is just you, an earth sign, and a fire sign here. Okay. But definitely there's a choice, right? Yeah, and it is always, the, the staircase is about a choice between two people or two paths. It is that simple. Yeah. It's not a choice between two philosophies, all right? <laughs> okay, let's get one more card. Why do they see Libra that way? Temperance. Yeah, there could be a Sag here. And I feel like, Libra, I have seen Sagittarius in your readings before. Yeah. So there could be a Sag here. Mm -hmm. They could be seeing you as, wow. And the High Priestess could simply be a secret in this reading. It doesn't have to be a water sign. But somebody is, what's clear here is that somebody is seeing somebody go back, uh, thinking of holding on and returning to somebody from the past. The Eight of Cups is in the reverse, and as is the Six of Cups. And the Eight of Cups in the reverse can sometimes speak to somebody going back to a situation that was not fulfilling. Because remember, in the upright, they are leaving for a, because of a situation that is not fulfilling. Wow. Kind of big here. It doesn't have to be that, like... Uh, kind of layered or it doesn't have it could be it could be far more simple they could be seeing you as just turning back to somebody from the past maybe that you left in the past mm -hmm. and down here i feel like they are seeing you making somebody is making a decision to return to somebody from the past i feel like that's what this is yeah Okay, now the past dynamic is the Fool, the Three of Cups in the reverse, and the Devil. So let's get a card on the Devil because we have seen the Queen and is the King here as well? It could be, uh, possibly there is. Let's see if that is Capricorn or I feel like it's just the Devil energy, right? Why is that Devil showing up, please? And we are seeing the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. This is about something that didn't work out in the past. Could have been because there was a third party. There, there was here. There is. But, yeah. If there's not a third party, there's just a choice to return somebody to return to somebody from the past. That person could not even be, maybe, maybe is not even in the picture. But there is pain here and uh, worry. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the past, uh, yeah, I feel like there was a third party in the past here and somebody was super stuck over it. And I also feel like somebody left. Somebody took a leap of faith in the past. Maybe to go back to somebody already in the past. Yeah, that could be the case. Mm-hmm. To reconcile with somebody from the past, maybe. Ten of Cups. The current dynamic is the Three of Wands in the reverse, the Tower, and the Eight of Pentacles. And this can talk about a third party ending, right? This is a this is a ten way card, the three of wands. Yeah, once you start flipping it, it's kind of a ten way card. <laughs> but I feel like in the reverse, the three of wands can talk about ending a third party. And it can talk about not being able to manifest something as well. And no movement, right? This can talk about there is definitely no movement in a situation. The Tower and the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like somebody's putting in the work here. Mm -hmm. And somebody could have found out later about a third party. Three of Wands in the reverse of the Tower. And this is why the Book of Secrets is there. Mm -hmm. I feel like somebody found out about a third party like later. Later in the game. And they're like, wow. Yeah, I think that that is the case here. So why is that Eight of Pentacles there before we head over to Vimeo? Why is the Eight of Pentacles there, please? Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody found out here. And, and somebody found out that they couldn't, like, they couldn't manifest this dream or whatever that they have here. Yeah, I feel like I manifest something that is full of passion. Yeah, I think. And romance. And they couldn't keep their, like, they couldn't keep their, uh, maybe they couldn't keep their situation at home together. Because somebody else was, like, putting in the work with someone else. I think that's it. And this is somebody from the past. Yeah. We're going to find out definitely in the tell-all on Vimeo Libra. And we're going to be talking about the underlying energies here, the issues, right? 
Also, how your person feels about you, what they want, and uh, this is for Libra, what they want, what they're hiding, what they're fearing, the challenges, and how to better navigate those, and their true intentions. On Vimeo, all the extenses are super affordable. Thank you so much, guys. The real way, though, the best way is to get your own reading. Okay, thank you so much, guys, and you can certainly get one. Happy New Year.